Hello and welcome to the Langa Podcast. My name is Joseph Bentel and I will be your host. So the Langa Podcast is basically about a couple of songs that Lux is going to be releasing very soon. So we're here to talk about the songs and the themes behind these songs. Let's welcome Lux and Marvin. Hey, welcome, that's guys. good, man. Hey. Welcome. You gotta welcome Thank you for having us. You've got to first welcome the main person. The main, wait, who's the, who's the main Mr. person? Mr. Legacy is the main this person, one, guys. This one, this one, uh, this one. Hey, this one is the main him. person purely ask because, him. like... Without him, firstly, I'm a, I'm a person with too many ideas. Sure. I need someone to filter them through. Mm, right? mm. I'm a person of great hope. Right. And faith, he's a person of great doubt. <laughs> <laughs> we need both Thank those you, people bro. in the it room. Thank you, bro. So I come in like a hundred ideas and you come in a hundred reasons why we shouldn't do it. Sure. And Balance. that helps to me kind of solidify. Balance is important. You know, my whole life. You know, yeah, yeah, I yeah, get no, excited. Yeah. And then he's like, ah, I'm let's not be sure. Real. Yeah, let's, let's be just be real. real. <laughs> like, 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 can't build a rocket. Are we going to be able to do that right now? Sure, sure. So this is, this is the main person. Hence, I think it's important for us to start this this podcast, you know, with the main person. Jesus is the main person. And also, okay, you know what I'm saying? Brother, but okay. That's, that's what you call humility. <laughs> I, I, I. <laughs> but also, awesome. thank you. Thank you to you, thank man. You I really appreciate it. Yeah, I could be here. Glad I could be here. So let's get into it. I just want to get straight into it. Hmm. What is behind the Langa um, project that you're working on right now? Yeah. Can you just yeah. go dive into it for a little bit? It's kind of it's kind of too two-sided okay. on one side um, because firstly I made like a whole lot of music mm. I haven't released a project a solo project in three years mm. so it's a long time, it's a, it's a long time. but anyway be, be, before that when I released the one three years ago I hadn't I'd done those songs like a year before that one was released mm. sure. but then obviously a lot of my attention was kind of focused on Living Legacy and mm. with Groot and with Malco so I just felt like I want my music to be a spark of hope to people. Sure. Um, but what I found with that is that people don't actually want to speak about the stuff that we, we all like struggling with and going through. Mm. Um, and so, but I wanted the theme of the music and the sound and the sound palette of the music to be kind of like a brightening, like it's the start of a new day. You mm. can you can see the sun rising all over again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And and if the music could be that, that's it. But also it's twofold because um, I'm actually part of my clan name is that Dingulaga. Wow. So it's kind of it's kind of twofold, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. So layers. Um, yeah, so it's kind of, kind of like some layers to sure, it. Sure, sure. But it, it kind of incorporates what I want to do with the music. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> that's great, man. So um let's talk about the first song pass out mm. right mm. that's something you say when you're tired yes. yeah, 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 yeah. i just out. want to pass, pass out. out you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so um i was listening to the song i found it a, a very very interesting song but i just wanted you to explain to us what was what was behind the song what were you thinking when you when you wrote um pass out yeah mm. i did think of like my friends going out like on a friday night and like okay. today like i just want to get passed out sure hectic <laughs> I, I did think about it that way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so I was yeah, like, yeah, so what does it look like for me? Like, mm. like you know, a lot of my friends are living for for the weekend. Yeah, sure. Like, they're yeah. living just to get passed out. Mm. Mm. Like, what am I living for? Sure. sure you know what I'm sure. saying? Like, I just, I just want to, I want to um, run for Jesus with everything I have. I want to mm. not give up on my dreams with everything I have. And I'm going to do it up until I pass out. Yeah. Sure. Like, with the exact same way that they, my friends would collect money. Mm. You know, like get everybody involved or yeah, like yeah. host like little parties. Like yeah. their whole lives will be consumed around like being passed out. Sure. Mm. You know? Sure. Um and so I wonder if my life could resemble with that, wow. but resembling with a sense of meaning. Mm. Yeah. So like I'm gonna do it up until I pass out. Like sure. you know, like it's it's awkward. They would they would they would consume stuff yeah. up until that point. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. the night is pointless up until they, they feel out. like they they did. Yeah, they passed out. Yeah. 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 You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. And so I wonder what it looks like for me with the dreams that God has given me and the stuff mm. that I feel like God has imparted to me. Like, am I going to give it with that exact same kind of passion and drive up mm. until? Yeah. Up amazing. until. So... And I'm, I'm thinking, I know you've been doing this for 10 years now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've yeah. been at this for 10 a long years. Time. Yeah. Man, that's a long time. Yeah. So um, in, this, in this journey of, of, of passing out, <laughs> how, 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 do you, how do you not give up? Yeah. 10 years yeah. is a long time. Yeah. I know many, many people, that what they don't see with us um, creatives is that 
we we go out there, we do the raps, you know, mm, we do the yeah. shows, yeah, yeah, and it yeah, looks yeah. good. Mm. But behind the scenes, there are times where like, you know, why am I even doing this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what? I'm just gonna throw in the towel. I'm done. I'm yeah. tired. It's it's over. Yeah. You know. But what what keeps you? What keeps you going? What mm. keeps you going? Yeah. Yeah. And on that, just because I think uh, when I was listening to that song, you think there's a place mm. for for somebody to be like, actually, yo, it's time to stop. That's it. It's time yeah. to stop. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's always been, bro. I'll be honest. That's always been my challenge. Like mm. for the longest of times, I wanted to stop. Sure. You know, and sure. I'd be like, I think I can rap. I'm not the best rapper out there, but I, there are, there's some other stuff that I think I can do mm. that could give me a better livelihood. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Well, that was the hardest time when I dated this lady once. Okay. And uh, hey, speak so, about it. Lady. Tell us. Hey. <laughs> hey. I was like, I thought maybe let me speak with the parents, but the parents, you know, obviously no parents wants their kid to be a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like they're not imagining, you know, <laughs> speaking proudly mm. of, the, like, of the little rapper, son. Unless you're successful, though. Unless you're successful. successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know, yeah, but yeah. They, they think about livelihood. They think, I mean, we put you through school or whatever, mm. whatever. Mm. Like, come back with the bacon. Yes. And like, you want to rap? the main thing and like we see the stuff like five people listen to your music you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah. so but I remember once when it hit me mm. I was dating this lady and uh, we we're dope like we we're cool mm. and then the kind of kind of the conversation came about around the stuff I'm doing mm. and it kind of came around livelihood how yeah. long will I do it mm. that very moment when somebody who I was romantically involved with and mm-hmm. I thought I, I would spend you know most of my life with was questioning that I was like I heard to even question that mm. yeah, means yeah. something to me. I'm like, sure. I should, I should be doing this. Thinking, mm. yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I should be doing this. But then the struggle was, I should be doing it until when? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Is this like a hobby, something I do on weekends? Yeah. Or is this something I'm going to give with me and take with me 110%? Mm. That was always a struggle. Like, giving up, I think it's still something that I still struggle with. Like, mm. it's mm. not, mm. It's, it's, it's not something like I'm like, I'm fully whatever. Like mm. it, it is still a struggle because there's so much stuff that's that's around it. There's money, mm. bro. When, like, when relationships are tainted, it's hard. When you know, um, like disputes with other artists or creatives, it's hard. Or you know, these partnerships or relationships that don't work out, and there's people with different conclusions. It's super hard. Yeah. You, you yeah. Like mm. so, with stuff like that, it makes you just be like, yo, if I wasn't doing this thing, I think my life would be so much more easier. You know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. I could work like a proper job and. And uh, I could settle with work conflict, but I know it's not my conflict because it's like related to work. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I go back and I just live my happy life. You know mm, what I'm saying? Mm, mm. Which almost seems like the better alternative. Yeah. It is the better alternative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Haven't yeah. you struggled with it? No, I, I have. To be honest, like there's there's so many times where you'd you'd even ask yourself, say, okay, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the the, the sad part is not the sad part, but the sad part is it's it's easier to fall into the routine. You know, to fall into the system of yeah. I study, I finish studying, I work, yeah. I work, do that. And I marry. Yeah. That it's like it's it's laid out for us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for us to take the step and be like, I'm choosing not to be normal. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, a big yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. okay, good. I see, I like, see, I see the system and it works. Sure, sure, sure. And you're like, no, I want to step out and mm-hmm. do something different. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's really it's really a daunting task. And yeah. for someone who who isn't sold out or who isn't with it until they pass out, mm-hmm. it's easy for you to say, you know what? It's I'm out. Yeah. Let me get yeah. that job. Or oh, you say I qualify? Okay, yeah. let, me, let, me, let me go get that yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's easier to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.